Well, greetings, humble boys, girls, and gifted animals. How are you today? I am well. Thank you for asking. Um, here with a pizza. Fresh out of the oven, actually. Something I found at Walmart called Wild Mike's Ultimate Pizza. And quite frankly, this is a big one. It came to, uh, I believe it was uh, $5.49. And uh, my pizza tray, actually, uh, it did not cover the entire pie here. So uh, we're using aluminum foil. Only the finest here at the Classic Carl, Spicy Carl family of networks, I should say. And what is this? Well, apparently it's a pizza, obviously. You cook it at 400 degrees uh, for 12 to 16 minutes. Of course, uh, with our scientists here, food scientists that is, we cooked it to a T. And uh, as you can see, it came out rather well. A little burnt edge right here, but that's that's fine. Um, you know, we'll, we'll give them a pass on that one. Uh, it was cooked for 13 minutes and 23 seconds, so a little nice medium there, not quite halfway through. And uh, of course, what are we drinking tonight? Well, honestly, um, there's a story behind this. I've had this bottle for about two, three years now. Uh, I thought I got a good deal on some nice vodka, and I was going to make some screwdrivers way back in the day and on Wisconsin, as I like to say. Uh, apparently, this is coconut water, so I've been trying to drink it, I guess. And for some reason, this got stuck in one of my uh, bags when I was moving, so I found it. And uh, lo and behold, uh, little by little, we're making chip at it. Uh, doesn't deserve to be in a chalice, that's for sure. It's Elvis Presley's coconut water. I don't know if that's significant to all you Elvis fans out there. And here um, lies the theory that I'm an alcoholic. Um, I know some of the internet likes to think that, and that's fine. But anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, dive into this, shall we? We've got a big fork here. Yeah, I got a couple of new items at Walmart, uh, pizzas specifically that I'll be reviewing. Uh, and by a couple, I literally mean two, because you know that's the only ones that really looked interesting. So this is one of them, because I want to let you find blue-collar people know if it's worth your hard-earned dollar. Should have cut this probably before uh, sitting down with you folks for dinner tonight. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just wing it. No edits. Or if we do, you just don't notice. We're just that advanced. Okay, we got a, a triangle of sorts here. And, uh, well, I literally just pulled this out of the oven, so it's still pretty hot. So while I let it cool down, how's your life? I hope it's well. I'm rambling on, I know that. I was just watching Jeopardy, and uh, there's a section called college football. And I think that most college students, it's the college championship, should be pretty good at that if they go to a major university. If you're not into it, sure, fine, whatever. This guy went to LSU, right? And uh, one of the questions, I think it was for $800, Alex, and asked him, Derrick Henry of this university ran for uh, more yards than Herschel Walker or something similar like that. A guy at LSU got that wrong. So my, my question to that gentleman is, um, you know, did you not see Derrick Henry burn you about three months ago? I don't know. Oh, hmm. Hmm. He plays on the center of the rack, so that can get skeptical. But a uh, nice little burn to it, very crispy. Okay, it's good cheese quality, I'll tell you that much, um, and a lot of it, very chewy. Nah, that didn't do it justice, but just trust me when I say that there's some good cheese on here. Um, I don't know particularly what kind. Four cheeses, apparently. Well, there you go, mozzarella, provolone, romano, and parmesan. I believe it's uh, 
That's how it's pronounced. So we're we're getting there. If you like a crispier crust, uh, you'll like this. Hmm. It has a nice little base to it, nice, nice little crunch, but it's not, you know, like a, a wheat thin. It's not uh, so thin to the fact that uh, you're just biting on sauce on a piece of cardboard. This is actually, uh, has some substance to it. It's got a nice little thickness to it, but it's got a nice little burn um, that crisps up nicely. The instructions say to put directly on the rack, and that's kind of what gives it that nice little burn there. Um, so it really puts a good base to this, especially with uh, the heavy cheese that is on this four cheese pizza. I don't know how their pepperoni one is, if there's less cheese or whatever, but it really holds up well, as you can see. Wild Mike! Not a regular pizza, it's an ultimate pizza. Just in case you didn't know. It is big. As for the sauce, um, it's pretty standard. There's nothing special there. It's, you know, run the mill, you know, frozen pizza sauce. It's literally as generic as one can have a frozen pizza sauce. There's nothing really special about it. Of course, there's, a, you know, there's, there's a nice addition of cheese that kind of maybe takes away from that and maybe that's what they're going for here. The sauce is usually kind of what ties everything together for me personally. So the crust is good. Cheese is really good. Sauce, nothing. I mean it's it's like it's not even there. It does have a stronger tomato taste to it than you know, let's say a more marinara taste. I know that probably is counterintuitive, but what I mean by that is it tastes more like tomato than it does like a seasoned sauce that is based on tomato. And there's a distinct difference because the latter uh, has a little bit more involved with it. Maybe some garlic, maybe, um, you know, whatever it may be, a little bit of Italian herbs and spices. So this is kind of lacking all of that. It's just kind of like red water on top of the pizza, in my opinion. Maybe some salt too, just to give it some flavor. So that's that. Now let's go ahead and try the crust. I'm sure it's going to be just like, you know, pretty much uh, the bottom crust. Hmm. Pretty good. So, what do I have to say about all this? Well, um, it's your standard generic frozen pizza. The cheese, on the other hand, is a little bit above average. The size of this thing is actually quite impressive. Usually, you get a, a frozen pizza for the same price, and you're going to pay about the you know, same for, for less pizza. And, you know, for me and my blue-collar family, or to you and your blue-collar family, we deserve the most for our money. So if you're going to get a frozen pizza, uh, we come to expect that it may not be you know, as good as delivery, unless it's DiGiorno. Just kidding. But it does beg the question that, you know, is this uh, worth it? And I think so. I do. Um, it's about the same price as a regular frozen pizza, like a Red Baron or something similar. And it's bigger. And the cheese is good. Sauce is okay. Crust is fine. Everything's just average, except for the cheese, which is a little bit above average. So, having said all that, um, with the price, a little over $5. Um, don't have the receipt handy. This was procured at uh, the local Walmart grocer. So, uh, I threw that away. Anyway, uh, I, I feel like it deserves a decent rating. Maybe not the best in the world, but uh, definitely worth a shot. So, let's go ahead and give it a solid, respectable 7 
point one three two three one. And you know, this is kind of what happens to me. It's that my um, my production crew slacks and you know, they just they leave me to do all the dirty work. Anyway, God bless. Hope to see you again as always. You take care.